In AT's latest roundtable, we partnered with Alcon to explore the topic of contact lens dropout. We brought three eye care practitioners together to explore the topic, and we started by asking for their thoughts on three commonly cited reasons for discontinuation. Discomfort, vision, and handling. My gut feel is if, if there's a handling issue, then we've not done our job properly. We need to make sure that the patient is confident and competent before they actually take the lenses home. Vision tends to be, for me, the, the, the biggest factor. Their concerns tend to be the lack of clarity of vision. Discomfort, well, I think that's less of an issue. My philosophy is to uh, optimise the ocular surface and to film in order to maximise comfort. Ocular surface is huge. Um, and maybe in the past, you know, we've managed the ocular surface uh, by using um, ocular lubricants, especially morning and night. Recently, I got the new Maya. I have found that just fantastic. To actually show patients visually on the screen what their eyes are doing helps with an awful lot of things. We can say your tear breakup time is low, but they, they don't understand what we're talking about. But when they see the image on the screen and they can see the red areas and orange areas that are drying, they, they completely understand why they have to do something. Visually explaining to patients what's happening to their eyes is so important. If a patient comes in and you are finding signs of discomfort, but the patient isn't reporting it themselves. What, what tends to be your approach then? I would tell, tend to tell them what I'm seeing and that I have a concern that this may become a problem and that I'd like to try um, a different product to see if we could solve that problem. I think it's important that we speak about um, kind of optimising environments, for example. So, you know, lenses and computer use or lenses in radiated rooms um, are going to have some issues. So address the issues before they become issues is going to be important to us. To have a really good understanding of what the patient actually wants from their lenses, you know, if it is a case of I want to wear them all day, well, you know, supplementing their contact lens wear with um, lubricating agents might be important at the beginning to mention that from the outset. Do you find that you worry about the idea of patients perhaps not finding a way to express whether they're comfortable or uncomfortable in their lenses? I think patients may not actually tell you that they're suffering from discomfort uh, for many reasons. Um, one may be if they just accept it as normal. That's, that's what contact lenses do. Um, if you're treating uh, younger kids, um, then sometimes they can think, actually, you might take these away from me. I'm really loving them. So they, they won't mention anything. So I think you've, you've got to really use your probing question technique at the um, aftercare. And that's where we probably sort of pick up most of the issues and challenges. I get them to score things out of 10. So I, rather than say, is it comfortable, is it not comfortable, and say, out of 10, how comfortable is your contact lens? What's the score, you know, when you put it in, um, by the time you're taking it out in the evening, is, you know, what's the score then? If they give me a score of six, even seven, I'm kind of not happy with that. Just thinking about the many different types of contact lens wearer, um, is there any particular subgroup where you find you have to do something slightly different? I think um, a new patient to your practice uh, does need a little bit more TLC, whether it's in uh, sorting out the dry eye issues or whether it's just investing the time to follow up um, when you change a fit or change the, the the prescription a little bit to follow up and make sure it is working. Support, support, support. Support before fitting contact lens wear discussion, but they are suitable. It's up to us to probe and find, um, you know, what do they want a contact lens for? What do they want a, lens, a contact lens to do for them? It's up to us to manage that at the start, because if we try to manage it after they're telling us it's a problem, then it's, it's a problem you will rarely solve. We've set up communication that allows patients to get in touch with us. We decided that we'd use uh, WhatsApp visitors. We've been able to support patients um, literally round the clock. If I get a message that pings me at night, um, I will actually wake up and answer it. Do they come at night? Uh, very rarely, I've had one at four o'clock in the morning. The fact that people um, know that this service is there, 
uh, inspires a lot of confidence that they know that they can get in touch with us uh, outside normal working hours, uh, weekends, Sunday when we're not open. Uh, they know that we are still available for them. We've had three national lockdowns now. Um, and I guess just unpicking a little bit the importance um, of the Contact Lens business and that idea of how, how has it, how is it done? Contact Lens has got us through first lockdown in terms of some kind of a turnover because we, we weren't seeing patients at all. Um, we did emergencies only, broken glass and stuff like that. Uh, contact Lenses saw us through that. We had you know an awful lot of Contact Lens orders the first two weeks of lockdown. We made a point that all of our members of staff, myself included, um, got in touch with pretty much all of our contact lens patients to first of all reassure them if we go into lockdown that there will be no issues with getting contact lenses to them. We also got in touch with infrequent wearers as well and said that we believe that as a result of, uh, of, of coronavirus and COVID, uh, that we're going to end up in a lockdown. And therefore, would you like us to order some contact lenses for you? And we found a huge uptake on that. You know, lots of people really appreciate the fact that we got in touch with them when we were being proactive in making sure that they had ample supply to see them through. I definitely have fitted a few more multifocal contact lenses. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I started wearing them myself or because of lockdown. I, I actually think it increased my own confidence, to be honest, in, in them, to just wearing them myself. So I, I fitted more of those. We're doing a lot of um, myopia control, a fair bit of uh, contact lens work with people with steaming up spectacles and particularly, you know, those habitual spectacle wearers who are struggling to get out and about uh, because the spectacles seam up with their masks when they're out. I think I'm right in saying everyone has had access to precision one how have you found the opportunity in practice but the ones i have tried it on and have been really found it very very comfortable good lens um great handling um obviously the the, the uh health benefits that stand up for themselves the young younger folk yeah they they love the comfort of it i think it's great because you know they younger people we think they don't appreciate the health benefits but they do appreciate health benefits actually yeah, and they, they really like the fact that there's more oxygen getting to their eye. What would be your kind of recommendation, having seen it or using it, Fiona, in practice, in what to distill the reasons why Precision One is a great product to use? What would be your kind of, how, how would you put it into words to the ECP who's not used the product yet? This product A here, um, you know, we've been using it for the past 15 years. It's, it's a good product and, you know, it, it, it's, it's great. But we have a new product now. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like with everything. It's like with clothes. It's like with fashion. It's like with them. Um, you know, if you, if you go to buy a new, a new cooker, you know, you're not, you're not going to go with the one that was there 15 years ago. You're going to say, go, go for the ones with the bells and the whistles on it. And the minute I say it's a brand new product, it's the latest technology, it's got like extra comfort, it's extra oxygen coming through to your eye. Um, yeah, they're, it's, you know, they, they go, oh yeah, yeah, I want that. We've all got the latest equipment in our practices and then we're putting patients in old contact lenses. Doesn't really add up, does it? So, I mean, you know, obviously offering your patients the latest product, um, I think is, is, is certainly for me a, a, a given.